Hello everyone, welcome to episode 30 of Full Grown Gaming's Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII, and as you can see here, I have changed up some items and stuff, nothing major, or not items necessarily, but weapons and stuff. Yeah, he's equipped uh, the latest we've got on everybody, but as uh, you can see too, our MP is really low, so yeah, when I get a up, tent. Yeah, when oh, I get to dang. the board map, I'll do that. Wait for me, I'm coming too. Hmm? He's just gonna oh, dang. And down the yep. stairs. <laughs> He's so awesome the way that kid floats, dang. Cloud, please look after Nanaki. What happened? I think I grew up a little, that's what happened. Oh dang, well isn't he like 48? Oh, <laughs> I yeah, would hope he'd grown up by now. Didn't dang. they say he was only 16 or 17, like in human years or something like that? Yeah, I, I don't even know like the name of the species he is, but apparently they know. live long as beings. Is there a name for his species? It seems like there is, but... I think there is, but I just I don't know it right now. All right, so what we're gonna do is go, we're actually gonna switch out Red Thirteen. And he's leaving his hometown, so let's go ahead and actually give him a little use, right? Well, we have a motive behind it anyway. Yeah, we got the Seraph Comb, which is actually look how much more powerful that yeah. is. Yeah. Like, dang. <laughs> sorry, I think Barrett. Yeah, Barrett. Sorry, we're gonna just leave the enemy like leave everything how it was, I guess. Dang. What did Barrett have on him? Just, just did he have anything good on him? Uh, well, let's check out. Let's try the new trick, and we can check. Look. That's so awesome, <laughs> man. Oh my. Uh, where's Barrett at? Oh, he's up there. Nope, I think what it did. Yeah, he yeah, was just... completely Barretting. Oh my. Cleaned we had... him out. Yeah, we didn't. We weren't ever going to use Barrett, apparently. Oh, All right, so oh let's well. get this thing. And now you don't dry. have to worry about it breaking when you go past Cosmo Canyon. At this point, if it had broken down, someone would have uh, fixed it for you. So. Dang, the color filter's back to normal. Oh, I can't oh, see but not, anything. Uh, little... <laughs> dang, that's one there of the downfalls of playing on keyboard, dang. Yeah, I mean... Anyway, I don't know what I was saying, but we're gonna cross this little bridge here. The reason the thing breaks down is so that you can't cross this, and you have to go to Cosmo Canyon, you know? Yeah, because you need to progress the story over there, but this little town is actually Nibelheim. We've been here before in a flashback. This is uh, Cloud Tifa's hometown. Well, the town looks pretty, like, sturdy or whatever for being burned being down, Being burned you know? to the ground, I know. I think I was just gonna say that. Right. Oh, the same exact way it was. This is Nibelheim. I heard it burnt down. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? I'm not lying. Well, I didn't really accuse you of lying, Chloe. Oh, man. I remember the intense heat of the flames. He's paranoid as Banes. Are we just... Okay, I was about to say, that there's <laughs> so many awkward silences in this game. Yeah, I know, dang. Well, we'll take your word for it, Cloud, even though this hey, place This was place burnt. looks pretty. Like, look at the floors. They're all furnished. and everybody It's the was... exact same way it was. Oh, I was like, where's this guy at? Because I knew he was here, but I could barely see him there. Dang, man in a black cape. He so, has a tattoo number six. Hmm, he has something. What does he have? Oh, Luxor's. Uh, must go to reunion. What the? Reunion? What is that? I don't know. I, then you find out more about it, not, even out of this game, actually. Yeah, well, actually, I don't even know what it is, because I didn't play many games other than this one oh, in the compilation dang. of Final Fantasy VII. But I'm not sure. I don't think there's anything else in here. No, it's just the inn up here, remember? Yeah, I'm just, like, there's some other guys in black caves that you got to talk to, and you'll get more items. And you think not, we should you, stay the night at the inn to restore that MP this time? Oh, uh, that's actually... Oh, I forgot to use a tent on the world map. Yeah, just go outside and use a tent. It's yeah, I will. Just funny, like, oh, yeah, dang, there's a guy. Because some of them don't actually give you stuff, but... Yep. Let's see if he does. Oh, an elixir. Elixir, good. All right, these guys are like creeping me out. They're talking about Sephiroth and reunions and I don't know. They all have black capes. I know every time we go into town, they mention a guy with a black cape. I hope oh. we're not chasing one of these idiots. Well, the guy in the My black God. cape refers to Sephiroth, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm just, it's yeah, it's supposed to. I'm just saying these guys are in black capes too. So I'm hoping that the people saw Sephiroth and not these guys oh. running through their town. You know what? What if we actually <laughs> like got a, a bad tip and we're following a guy? In yeah, a you go black... all the way through oh all God. these towns, all the way across the world. I used to be Cloud's house, by the way, when he was yeah, younger. Yeah, that's Cloud. I was just trying to remember if there's anything in there. I don't think there is. You know, and you go all the way across the world and you just find some guy who's gurgling and can't even talk. Look at these guys. Let's get it and bring it to Sephiroth. There. They become one with Sephiroth. See, they're just creepy. This guy's number's five. Dang. They all have a number, too, apparently, a unique number. This is Tifa's house, thing. Number 11 oh, here. Number 11 here. Oh, yeah. a turbo ether. Yeah, right up our alley. I think we have, like, what? That's the only MP restoring item we've got. Yeah, I'm not going to waste it on something like this, though. Let's go. Yeah. I know there's a that guy over there. Oh, get on the door, dude. There you go. I think this guy gives me a platinum fist. Number four here. 
Platinum Fist. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's a good weapon for Tifa. Dang, Tifa, for being a single child, they got a lot of beds up here, don't they? There's something really weird about the perspective <laughs> in this area. It's kind of, like, hard to navigate while you're, like, moving. Yeah, it is, dang. Or, I mean, like, it's, it's hard to tell what direction button to put. Never mind. <laughs> All right, anyway. Yeah, it's kind of slanted. This, tell them about uh, the piano. The piano, actually, if you play the tune that you learn during the flashback, you'll get... If you pl Actually, if you play it three times, you'll get, a, get an a astounding big one deal. One yep. Gill. Actually, That's... wait a minute. Yeah, one gill. I say wait. Oh, there we go. I was like, wait, does Tifa's house have a basement? But this is what I was looking for here. Dang. But yeah, the one gill. That was Tifa's like whole savings when she was a kid. One gill. What? That's so That's like... just sad. I'm sorry. You could like that's like finding a penny on the ground, saying, "All right, there." Remember those kids that were like mimicking each other? This is what happened to them. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them. Just shake their heads. Nay, awkward silence. And Luxor. This guy doesn't give you anything. It kind of looks like a materia over there, but I don't think it is. Nah, I don't think so. The one on the desk? Yeah, on the desk. Alright, oh, almost went upstairs again. Now, I think that's pretty much all the treasure you can get from these guys. If not, oh well, all they do is give you sources, which don't really help you out all that much. Yeah, they only put your stats up by like one. One, and really, that's not... <laughs> it's not all that great. Hey. Uh, did we go in every house? Did we only yeah, we went everywhere. House? Okay. I think all now, I gotta do now is what get, use a tent and get up that shit. I almost engine. forgot again. Awesome. <laughs> I gotta remind him. <laughs> I mean, when you're in the heat of the moment of this town where nothing is going on, you can't. Uh, anyway. Oh, dang. I was gonna make a pun on heat of the moment. I mean, look at the town. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Myself, Everything, did I already use a tent? Everything's healed. Oh, well, I don't know, dang. Whatever. Positive, I don't know. But I, that's good. I'm getting a little freaked one. out, dang. This whole town area, like, what's going on here? Kind of spooky, I, isn't it, dang? Everybody here, like, nobody. Remembers. They don't even acknowledge it. Maybe everybody died and they replaced them. Who knows? Well, that's one thing that I didn't like point out. But like, just for instance, let's talk to this guy. Nice town, huh? We've been in business here for a long time. But obviously, You're he lying, has to be dang. lying. If the town caught on fire, you know. Oh dang! We can talk to this guy actually. Pretty much all everyone does is blame me for like li like telling bad things about the town, like it caught on fire or. They pr they're basically telling Cloud it's a figment of his imagination. But, I think it's in Tifa's house, if we go upstairs, oops, oops. Oh, beast perspective. God, this is so weird. If you press up, you go, like, left. It's weird. One of the perks of playing from Resident Evil for years, I can, like, do that bull like it's oh, me. <laughs> there we go, over here on the uh, desk here, I think. What, is something in the drawer? There's, like, a... Oh. I swear, there was a, like, there we, I was gonna say. Oh, All dang. Right. So what apparently the? there are clones here. These people, I don't think, were... Like, look at this. The Reunion and Sephiroth, they show no other signs of activity. Talking about the black... Or the people in the black... Uh, so did Shinra, like, cover everything up? Therefore, our no one knows disguised. the town was restored exactly as it was five years ago. Our staff are, just, like, disguising as townspeople. Yeah, people. why would they just leave that lying on a desk? A big why is confidentiality it in report. I have no idea. That's like leaving... Shinra, you need to keep track of your records, man. What is that like, one? I'm gonna sound ridiculous, but what is that one? I think it was the Civil War where the guy left his, like, battle plans out wrapped around cigars or something. Yeah, it was, uh... I don't was remember. Was it a Grant and Lee got the tip on it? Yeah, something like that. But that's what that reminds that's what... me of. Now, this area over here is the Shinra man as you may remember, and it is completely optional, but we're going to do it anyway because it's actually yeah, really important. We're actually going to be getting a new character in this mansion. Uh, this place is kind of hard to navigate. If I remember correctly, is there something over here? There's some. There's somewhere over here where it tells you, like, here's a piano, by the way. If we search back here, it'll tell you there's, like, a clue here. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, there's a couple hints scattered around. We're going to actually try to crack a safe in the mansion, and he needs to find all the different combinations, right? Yeah, th I thought there was, like, some sort of... Something over here where it tells you what the things are, as far as, like, the combination or whatever for the safe, but I guess I'm misremembering. Yeah, I don't remember that at all. Then. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where the thing is that tells you where everything's at, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, like... Because I know the combination, I'll just tell you what it is. I remember where most of them are, though, so... I think right, some items chest. scattered around ether. Silver uh, megaphone! They just keep we giving us... <laughs> they keep giving us... Dang, before the stupid battle interrupted again, I was going to say, all they do is give us worthless Kate Sith weapons that we're never going to use. I, Kate Sith is my... I'm just telling you, these I'm, random I'm battles just are not even, me. I'm just not even going to continue the ramp. Dang, this what's a twin a viper? Weapon, is that a gun? Way. No, it's a Yuffie. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's one of Yuffie's weapons. Oh, uh, dang, well, Yuffie will be getting some uh, screen time too later on in an optional area. Well, yeah. That, by the way, I might wait till disc 2 to do that part because... Oh, I'll get to that later. But anyway, I think we're done. Like like I said, I'm not going to really go into... Can't. 
Anyway, I forgot what I was even saying, but I think what I was going to say, yeah, is that I'm done, like, finding clues. Not that I really did a good job anyway. Oh, oh well, random clues, dang. There's a, apparently a clue right here on the floor. Let's get this thing. Ether. Oh, I, I thought just, it said a megaphone again. Oh, I was if about it had to been say, two megaphones in that short of, like, <laughs> The area, developers are like just that. putting them in the boxes because they know kids don't give. <laughs> K-Sith is easily my least favorite character in the game. You know what? I'm keeping it in. I'm tired of getting it. Getting it yeah, up. we keep getting cut off by these damn random battles over and over and over. Look at this guy swinging on an anchor. This is all <laughs> Wait till you guys see Red 13. He is yeah, all 376 he's pretty damage. good, yeah. He's actually, he's also five levels behind everybody else. So if I grind him up to be like Cloud's level, he, he will be doing pretty, pretty well. It's doing better than Barrett, that's for sure, so it was worth switching Barrett out for now. Also, I don't have any facts to back this up, but I would guess that he's faster than Barrett. Yeah, maybe a little more agile. Alright, so... So let's find the safe. It should be up here, right? Yeah, and by the way, might as well show it. Here's a chest with an enemy launcher, which I think is Barrett's, maybe? Yeah, it could be. I'm gonna guess. Yeah, it's launcher, but so he's like a gun. If we search the chest again, we get another clue. <laughs> there you go. I think that's the first one, I'm guessing. The first... Yeah. Did you gotta put in there, yeah. So we found three of them. There's a fourth one on the hidden, like, I'll maybe I'll show that in a bonus episode or something. But is it on a hidden floorboard, like the last one? No, it was on a, it was a hidden option in a menu that was like great, like invisible. But anyway, okay. that's off. I'm getting off topic here. Um, here we have a uh, safe, and we have to use those clues. Good luck. The thing's sensitive as beans. Let me make sure I'm all good here. I'm not even gonna chance it. Everybody's gonna be completely healed for this fight. Yeah, if we haven't mentioned it yet, as soon as he cracks that safe, something's gonna attack us. Alright, so now what we have to do, I'm just gonna explain it before we start, cause just in case I mess up. What I have to do is there's gonna be like a little combination kind of thing. You have to go to the... I'll just... Maybe I'll just... You can explain it while I'm doing it or something. Alright, but it's just like if you guys have ever opened a lock at school, you're gonna have to move to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, right? Like that? Yep. Alright, so right 36, left 10, right 59, if this thing would go any faster. And you have to do it within the time limit. If you don't, they just say, oh, shucks, restart. Oh, there! There! First try. Right, there's a the material, <laughs> which is a summon, but we'll have to wait to get that, because first we've got to do battle with a guy called Lost Number. This guy's actually decently difficult. What I'm probably going to do is just keep using... Oh, first of all, I want to use a big guard on everybody. Yeah, make sure you get that up. You want me to explain how this works? Yeah, you can go ahead and explain. Alright, so basically, you guys might be saying, wow, this is a pretty funny looking enemy here. He's split down the middle in two. Well, he's split, so his purple side over there is a physical attacking enemy, and the other side, he uses magic attacks, right? I if think... You... Oh, what? good. I was going to say, if you attack consecutively with magic, 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 eventually his magic side will take over the whole enemy, right? What happens is when you get to, when he gets to half HP, whatever the last, like, attack you use to get him to under half will be the side... Okay, let me think about how to explain this. If you use a magic attack, if the magic attack is what you get him under half health with, I'm pretty sure yeah. he'll bring out his magic side so he'll be less susceptible to magic attacks, you know? And you want to fight the magic side more than the physical side because the other side can kill your characters easily Seriously. in, like, one hit. Like, sometimes guy... they'll do two, 3,000 damage, and if you look at our party, no, nobody can take that yeah, much Yeah, this guy is, like, the strongest enemy we've ever fought, pretty much, up to this point. And you can't just throw an X potion at him, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, somebody <laughs> said something like, I wasted an X potion. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Wait a minute. What? Are you kidding uh, me? We've been attacking consecutively with magic, guys. Apparently, I like, that little that. weak physical attack I did was the last one. Oh, well. Keep hammering away. I think he has, like, 7,000 HP. Just keep your health up. And yeah. if we beat him, even on the harder side, I guess just makes it sound a little bit more awesome. <laughs> oh, this is so... I'm getting... <laughs> he, he did 188. I ain't scared of I thought he was going to do more than that. Forget it. We'll take him out quick. Then also, Keep yeah, I mean, sometimes I don't like the fact that you can't like replenish your big guard until it's out. Because what if you want to use it at that certain amount, like time? Yeah, I know. But it's another little, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to flat out call it It's a just flaw, something I don't yeah. like. Yeah. Something a uh, little. There. Oh, there. That we was the easiest him up. Fight. Oh my! Once How come that happens? Every I was gonna time... say once again a test to the power of beta. Yeah, that's true. And also that Cosmo memory. That's uh, Red 13's what level four limit break yeah 
fourth thing. Listen to me go. <laughs> yeah, it's it's his level four limit break, and if you actually go ahead and use it, like it's an item, you try to teach him. I'm pretty sure in the menu he'll say a little funny piece of dialogue. Dang. Yeah, something. It, it won't work because we haven't learned all of his other limit breaks yet. But I might do that off screen and show you. Dang, we have a lot of items. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We got to use some of them sources. See, look, you just go ahead and use it. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> awesome. But you have to. Earn all of the rest of his limit breaks before you can use the four. And there's the Odin Materia, who this is a light actually kind summon. Of, uh, actually, is in it? Third, in Final Fantasy 13, he was. I mean, I know that's not that good to draw from, but that's... Yeah, in this game, what actually, <laughs> if you use an added effect and you use Odin with it, you're, like, on your uh, your weapon, you have a chance of dealing death. So, that's hey. pretty cool. And if you use it on your armor, I'm pretty sure you can't be used. Like, like you're, you're not susceptible you. to death at all? Yeah. Is it Odin, like, the eight-legged horse? I'm not sure. Actually, next uh, fight, I might go ahead and summon him just to show yeah. you. I don't think I even summoned, uh, like, Titan or any of the other ones. Yeah, we should go ahead and show him all the summons, I guess, as we get them. Yeah, I'll go ahead in the next fight, and I'll show you the, the summons. Also, one thing I forgot to do, or not forgot to do. Wait, why didn't Cloud use yeah, that Silence. They got silence you on you, so me? you can't use magic. <laughs> Mike, that's cheap. Yeah, another status ailment. Oh, well. He's but, probably going to uh, get the rest of them with it, too. There. Oh, I confused. think somebody's confused too. Yep, I saw that. I swear if they use beta, if Ares Ooh, uses beta man. on us. Oh, you better freaking run. Just start running. I think he used beta on us. <laughs> there. Yep, awesome. <laughs> Alright, we're all dead. I'm if we leaving. kill ourselves, I swear. I'm trying so hard to run away right now, it's just not even funny. It's like swinging on us. You just keep Thank running. Thank you, Lord. That was desperate. Can you believe if we had just died there, I probably would have had a heart attack because that's that a. Horrible. That is the oh. dirtiest way to die right there. I hate, like, I know it's a part of the game, but I hate enemies that use Confuse. Even in Pokemon, I know this is off topic, but Pokemon, I hated that crap. So annoying, man. Dang, you're oh. getting robotic sounding. Oh, uh, I'm going B. So uh, we're going to head down to the basement now, right? Yeah, you sound awesome right now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Dang, guys, sorry about that. We had to actually restart our Skype call here because I was going T-Pain mode. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, T-Pain is a self-proclaimed king of auto-tune. Well, you're gonna minute. laugh. I've literally seen, I've literally seen in Walmart, there's like a little toy for kids that's a T-Pain microphone that'll make them auto-tuned. Did I have to get the uh, basement key out of the thing? <laughs> yeah, this... go back. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so we went back to the the safe. I didn't want to have to show you guys all that running back and stuff. Yeah. But here we have the basement key. All he had to do is just pick it up out of the safe thing. I was guessing that the material that popped out was the treasure of the safe, but I forgot there's a basement key in there. Did I get the material off the floor? <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah. I'm not taking any. Ch yeah, Odin. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I remember it popping up now. All right. So let's now, go through here. We're gonna actually have to use the basement key right up there. All right. There we and go. Oh. I love how they throw random bite fights right before, like, a... Yeah, and it, what a fight, dang. We just ran into an enemy that was throwing ice twos and bolt twos at us. My God. To wake me from the nightmare. Who is it? Oh, that's you. That would be <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> Either one of us could have said that, really. Yeah. I've never seen you before. You must leave. You were having a nightmare? You don't look good. Hmm. A nightmare. My long sleep has given me time to atone. What are you saying? I have nothing to say to strangers. Get out. This mansion is the beginning of your nightmare. Dang, you can say that again. <laughs> hmm? What do you know? Uh, so whatever. Talking about Sephiroth. There you go. Like you said, this mansion is the beginning of a nightmare. No, it's not a dream. It's for real. Is he convincing himself? Sephiroth has lost his mind. He found the secrets hidden in this mansion. Sephiroth? You know Sephiroth? You that would have been awesome if we got that together. <laughs> Dang. He's getting out of his coffin. Oh, oh, apparently he can jump like it's beans. Eh? Or is he flying? Oh. You stop first. He's standing on the edge of the casket thing. Oh, he's, he's telling them the whole story with all the plot holes. Oh, yeah. There, that's how it was. That was the fastest story. So Sephiroth knows he was created five years ago. And about the Genova Project. He was missing, but has just recently reappeared. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is you. Yeah. Oh, is it? I can't look at that. Is, how, would, is, how would Vincent know about this promised land if you've been in there forever? All right. He. I don't know. Now it's your turn. Sorry, I cannot speak. What? You're serious? Hearing your stories has added upon me yet another sin. More nightmares shall come to me now, more than I previously had. 
Is he gonna just oh. gonna go back to sleep? No, please leave. Dang, how does that? Uh, I don't even know. The casket has the same properties that Guggenhagen okay. has. Get back up. Yeah. <laughs> You're still here. What are uh, we gonna say? Who are you? Who I are guess you, I of course. Know. At least tell us your name. I was with the Shinra Manufacturing Department in Administrative Research, otherwise known as the Turks. I was a Turk. Vincent. Vincent. Yeah. Another secret character right here. Him and Yuffie are the two secret. Now we got them both. Vincent. The Turks. Formerly of the Turks. I have no affiliation with Shinra now. And you? Cloud, former, formerly of Soldier. You were also with Shinra. Then do you know Lucretia? Who? Lucretia. Alright. Apparently not. The woman who gave birth to Sephiroth. Yep. Gave birth? Wasn't Genova Sephiroth's mother? That isn't completely wrong, but just a theory. He was born from a beautiful lady. That lady was Lucretia. She was an assistant to Professor Goss at the Genova Project. Beautiful Lucretia. A human experiment? There was no way to cancel the experiment. I couldn't stop her. That was my sin. I let the one I loved, the one I respected most, face the worst. So you slept as a punishment. Isn't that strange, that thinking? Is he going to go back to sleep again? <laughs> we might just leave god. this kid in the freaking All right, coffin. Bob, no, forget my it. god. Let me sleep. No, All right, dude, get well, out of there. Awesome, I think what? you have to actually go into like the little lab thing. All right, well, we'll let the kid I be I don't stubborn. remember this happening, dang. Oh. <laughs> All right, there. we'll come back later when he's not so moody. But, but in yeah, the meantime, we can go back down here, back to the little. Dang, this place has seen better days, hasn't it? There's gonna be another scene here that's actually pretty cool. So that's Sephiroth down uh -oh. there. Sephiroth brings being here brings back memories. Are you going to participate in the reunion? This reunion we keep hearing about. I don't even know what a reunion is. Genova will be at the reunion. Genova will join the reunion, becoming a calamity from the skies. Oh, Genova, a calamity from the skies? You mean she wasn't an agent? I see. I don't think you have the right to participate. I will go north past Mount Nibel if you wish to find out, then follow. Thanks for telling us <laughs> a reunion, calamity from the skies. That's what he said, Cloud. Yeah. <laughs> oh my, he Ooh. just threw it. <laughs> Dang, hit me right in the gut with a freaking materia. <laughs> that was hilarious. Kid can fly. Everybody can fly but us. What the hell? Destruct. Man, I don't ever use that material, but that was the funniest <laughs> thing. What does Destruct <laughs> even do? I'm not even sure. I don't know. I, I'm not going to equip it to anybody right now just because I don't really care that much, but... All right, hopefully Vincent's, uh, you know... Yeah, made up his mind that he wants to come on, man. Let me... Come on, maybe if we All right, leave. maybe if we leave, yeah, I was going to say that. Just head like... like oh, you don't I give. remember what happens. Oh, dang, Vincent, we'll leave you back there. Let, wait... Yep. <laughs> That's how it usually goes, just like with Yuffie. Yeah, that happened. If I go with you, will I meet Hojo? Dunno, but we're after him and Sephiroth, so I guess sooner or later. Lucretia. Who is this Lucretia we keep hearing about? No, dang. Apparently she was part of uh, Shinra with him. Guys, stop talking, dang. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that important. <laughs> Alright, now let's see. I kind of want to use Vincent. Just to show Dang, him. He's, he's actually up level. Dang, get that kid in there. There we go. All right, Red 13 got his science, uh, time in the sun. Now we're going to switch him out. What I want to do, though, is fix him up with some materia. Remember yep. the death blow? Dang, I mean, that's not, right. Yeah, death blow. That was the one. I, yeah, okay. Is this the weapon that is going to work with, though? No, but in just the next episode, probably, we'll get the sniper CR, which is oh, the thing. Oh, I know need. what you're talking about. That's going to make it a death blow, a critical hit every single time. Yeah, except it only hits 85% of the time, so it's close enough, you know. Yeah. Um, actually, let's see, I'll just throw a classic... I'll worry about his material next episode or something, I don't really want to waste time, but... I like Vincent... how we're... I was gonna say, I like how we're going through all the party members, so you guys can't say we're leaving everybody out. I think we've even tried Kate Sith. Kate Sith? Did we ever use him in a fight? I think... Didn't we use him back in the prison in Coral? I don't remember. Uh, I... I don't see myself ever putting <laughs> Kate Sith in the party, but if we did, you know, that's a I don't thing. know, dang. <laughs> I think that Kate Sith was... I, I don't even remember, dang. Have we even used Yuffie? 
Yuffie, Yuffie and Kate Sith are my, my, easily my two least favorite characters in the game. Oh, well, well, Yuffie is gonna get her time, but Kate Sith, I don't know. Kate Sith, I see no merit to whatsoever. <laughs> Kate Sith, has, man, I think he only has, like, two limit breaks, I his think. His limit breaks suck. I mean, I don't see him as a great physical attacker or magic user. He's just a run-of-the-line mediocre player. Yeah, he's just probably not going to get that much screen time in battle anyway. In the game, story-wise. Yeah, he's actually pretty important to the story. Yeah, but not in battle. All right, so pretty much we've done everything we can do here in the Shinra Mansion. So let's get out of here before we get into another random fight. Yeah, for real. Now we're going to head to Mount Nibel. Except I'm going to do that next episode because we are over 35 minutes on the recording, so hopefully we can cut this down to be not so long. Yeah, I know. Um, the only thing that I didn't do in there that I wanted to do is find that one thing where it tells you more about the clues, but who cares? We got into the cage. Yeah, right? I was just going to say we unlocked the two gives. What is it even called? A safe. The there safe, we go. I was yeah. going to sell it a cage. Which the it kind of was because it, it was hiding a monster in there. But anyway. If he fit in that little safe. Oh, my. Well, where else was he? <laughs> I don't know, but that's ridiculous. All right. I don't want to ramble anymore, but I want to thank you guys for watching episode 30. We're hitting a good milestone here of the Let's Play of Final Fantasy VII by Fulgrim Gaming. And I want to see you guys back for the next episode. See you next time.